Welcome, everyone. I'm Spiro. Thanks for tuning in. So here we are seven months into what we are being told and almost forced to believe is a global pandemic. We have been under a two week lockdown that has lasted for months and months with no end in sight. As new restrictions, requirements and mandates continue to be dictated by governments on the local, county, state, federal and global levels. But it's not just the governments who are having all the fun. No, the corporations are getting in on the action as well, working in lockstep to reshape and reimagine a new social construct as we enter the Great Reset and the Fourth Industrial Revolution. The central banks will play a major role in this new digitalized system of control, as every day we find ourselves another step closer to a cashless society. And then there is the medical and pharmaceutical industries who have and will continue to have a growing impact on our lives and well-being as they will soon take center stage in this operation when the vaccine is ready to be deployed. All of them marching together in lockstep towards global governance, using fear, the fear of a global pandemic to finally destroy this current system, which has been for generations slowly but surely dismantled by design. We are in the process of the transition into this new era, a new paradigm, the new system of control right now, justified by this crisis, a crisis which I believe to be manufactured, in my opinion, perhaps the greatest psychological operation of all time. Do you see where this is going? Do you see where this road takes us? These are the very things that we've been warning about for years, some for decades, and it's happening right now. I see people asking all the time. Will the vaccine be mandated? The new experimental vaccine that's being rushed through development as we speak with rolled back regulations, zero liability and guaranteed government contracts to the research and organizations funded by Bill Gates. Right. The very same vaccine that President Donald Trump said yet again yesterday on July 16th that he would have the military led by his generals deliver the vaccine across the country, which leaves me wondering what exactly does he mean by delivery? Accelerating the delivery of life-saving treatments and ensuring that we will have a vaccine in a record time. We're doing fantastically well on that. That'll be for another time, another meeting. But we are doing on therapeutics and vaccines incredibly well. No administration in history has removed more red tape more quickly to rescue the economy and to protect the health of our people. When you think of it, uh, we are all set up that as we get the vaccine or therapeutic and we're set up militarily we're going to be delivering it in record time it's all set to move we put an investment up front and we have logistical people generals great people they're going to be delivering this all over the country as soon as we have it and we've made tremendous progress you've been reading about it so will the vaccine be mandated well in my state the government has already authorized mandatory vaccination and there's a real good chance that your state has too. They just haven't enforced it yet because, well, everyone's still waiting for this brand new vaccine to arrive right from the military. So the question is, will they enforce it when the time comes? According to the Arizona Revised Statute titled 36 Public Health and Safety, 36-787 Public Health Authority during State of Emergency or State of War Emergency Section C, in addition to the authority provided in subsections A and B during a state of emergency in which there is an occurrence or imminent threat of smallpox, plague, or viral hemorrhagic fever, or a highly contagious and highly fatal disease with transmission characteristics similar to smallpox. The governor, in consultation with the director of the Department of Health Services, may issue orders that mandate treatment or vaccination of persons who are diagnosed with illness resulting from exposure or who are reasonably believed to have been exposed or who may reasonably be expected to be exposed. Folks, that's pretty much everybody they want. Okay, everybody and anybody at that point. Item two, isolate and quarantine persons. Item D, law enforcement officials of this state and National Guard shall enforce orders issued by the governor under this section. Now, there are some outs here, despite the obvious questioning the constitutionality of this emergency order and the severity of the public health emergency at hand, because they are cooking the books, folks. They are manipulating the numbers. But don't worry, the same ones who closed down the churches do provide religious exemption for this mandatory vaccine. But uh, they can still throw you in jail or I mean, you know, isolation, according to this emergency declaration. Now, item F states, if during a state of emergency, 
the public health is not endangered, nothing in this title shall authorize the department or any of its officers or representatives to impose on any person against their person's will any mode of treatment provided that sanitary or preventative measures and quarantine laws are complied with by the person. Now, so it makes it kind of sound like you're off the hook if it's not a deadly pandemic, right? Well, aside from the part where they say that they can hold you against your will. So again, the question is, will they enforce it? Will they enforce it here? Will they enforce it where you live? Okay. Remember, these are the same ones who have been mandating the lockdowns from the start, closing down businesses, locking up business owners who defy the lockdowns, while at the same time releasing actual murders and violent sex offenders from jail and destroying our way of life and the economy while infringing on our civil liberties all from behind a mask if the hypocrite decides to wear one in front of the cameras. These are the same ones who have been mandating those masks, despite several studies saying that there is little to no evidence to suggest that the face masks worn by members of the public prevent people from being infected by breathing in the virus. There's even a study showing people who do not wear masks do not shed the virus. Yes, this is from Nature Medicine, published at nature.com on April 3rd, 2020. Among samples collected without a face mask, we found that the majority of participants with influenza virus and coronavirus infection did not shed detectable virus in respiratory droplets or aerosols. These are the same ones who have been locking down schools despite multiple studies which show the virus does not affect kids and kids are not spreading the virus. These are the same ones selling fear of the rising cases as testing has been ramping up. Yes, the cases have been increasing, but the deaths have been declining despite the manipulation of the numbers. For example, the death certificate surveillance. They've been going back weeks reviewing symptoms of people who have already died and adding those mortality cases to the COVID numbers. And then there's the deaths who have absolutely nothing to do with the virus at all whatsoever. They're being counted as COVID. The false positives, the testing scandals, and the investigations being launched into them, finally, into the numbers. So will the vaccine be mandated? Well, if it is mandated, it likely won't be by President Trump, at least not initially. And I'm not saying this in support or defense of the president. I'm nonpartisan. But let me ask you this. Were the lockdowns mandated by the federal government? Are the masks being mandated by the federal government? No, this is a reminder. This is being done by people in your local levels. This is being done by people within your communities, in the local governments. Those will be the ones who will likely mandate and implement the mandatory vaccination if it comes to that. And let me tell you right now, it is in the emergency orders for my state that was implemented by Governor of Arizona, Doug Ducey. The same Doug Ducey who does not feel the need for himself to isolate or lock down or social distance or even wear a mask unless he knows the cameras are around. But the language to forcibly vaccinate you and your family is in his emergency declaration. So here's a homework assignment. Do a little digging for yourself. See if your state's emergency declaration authorizes the government to forcibly vaccinate you and your families against their will in light of this crisis. If so, grab the link to the specific page and post it in the comments of this video. We just might do an, a follow-up uh, and show all of the states who have already authorized, so they say, mandatory vaccination in your areas. Now, it's time to get active people on all fronts. Identify who the tyrants are in your local government. This is the first step to resistance. And let me make it clear. Right now, I am not anti-vaccine. I believe everyone should have the option to decide for themselves. I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but I've already made my decision. I am not going to be taking the vaccine regardless of any mandates. We should never be forced by the government to comply in this way. The government is supposed to be a representative of the people. The government is supposed to work for the people, not against them. Look around you right now. Is that what you have? Do you have representative government? If not, tell me, what do you have? I'm Spiro. Stay tuned for more.